All the fitness experts love to tell you how great creatine is, especially if they're having a sale for it right now. But what kind of muscle gains can you actually expect from taking creatine? Let's talk about it. Creatine is indeed one of the best dietary fitness supplements we have. I myself take creatine every single day. For the first week I bought it, and it's been absolutely amazing. Creatine is primarily known for its performance-enhancing ergogenic benefits, especially with helping you lift heavier weights more effectively at the gym. Of course, a lesser-known benefit of creatine is that, yes, it can directly improve your muscle gains. But in real-world applications... It's kind of hard to tell how much of a difference in muscle gains creatine actually makes. That's especially true if you're already managing the much more important factors of training effectively and getting enough nutrients like protein. The good thing, however, is that we do have a lot of data about creatine's effects on muscle growth. And with this data, researchers conducted a new study to better estimate the amount of gains we can realistically expect. More broadly, they looked at changes to body composition, which covers not only changes in muscle, but also in body fat. They extrapolated data from 12 relevant randomized controlled trial studies, tallying a total of 362 participants. These participants performed full body resistance training throughout an average intervention period of 7.6 weeks, with an average of 3.8 training sessions per week. Of course, the primary intervention is to compare the effects on body composition from resistance training, either with or without creatine monohydrate supplementation. The average average daily creatine dose was either 7 grams or individualized to 0.1 grams per kilogram of body weight. A 5 to 7 day loading phase was also included in most studies. And now for the results. What they found might shock you. Or make perfect sense depending on what you expected. With all the data collected and calculated, the researchers found that after controlling for training volume, creatine plus resistance training led to an additional 1.14 kilograms of lean body mass. Creatine also led to greater reductions of body fat percentage by an average of 0.88%. Fat mass also reduced more by an average of 0.73 kilograms. So that's 1.14 kilograms of extra lean mass with taking creatine while training for roughly seven and a half weeks. To be honest, not bad. That's, of course, before we do a bit more digging. Let's point out some important general stuff first. It's always good to remind ourselves that study outcomes like this one are a matter of averages. It's not what you personally can expect from taking creatine, because if I'm being honest, you're way above average in my book. Or below, I don't know. Point is, there's usually a range to an average. 1.14 kilograms might be the average, but the range is probably closer to anywhere between a half or two kilograms of of additional muscle. To take this point even further, we also gotta acknowledge that the training itself can influence the results. If your training program looks very different from the full body programs used in the interventions, then don't be too surprised if your gains are different as well. In the end of the day, it's good to remember that averages only tell us a part of the whole story. With that said, I do want to point out a crucial issue with the results themselves. Well, first, let's point out something that's not necessarily bad or anything, which is that the results did not seem to be influenced by whether the participants were trained or untrained. In other words, you don't have to wait until you're more experienced to start taking advantage of creatine's muscle benefits. And finally, something we need to understand about these results is that muscle mass was not measured directly. Instead, the studies used a broad broader measurements of lean body mass. Lean body mass is basically any mass in our bodies that isn't fat. Now, using lean body mass to measure muscle isn't all that bad and actually very common in fitness research. Thing is, our other body masses, like our bones and organs, usually don't change all that much. And if you're implementing a muscle-altering intervention, like lifting weights, then the changes in lean mass will mostly come from changes in muscle. But lean body mass also accounts for changes in water weight. This is a critical issue for creatine specifically because creatine supplementation is notorious for retaining water in the muscles. It's very possible that increases in water heavily contributed to this 1.14 kilogram increase in lean body mass. It's even more plausible considering that these studies also used DEXA scans to measure lean body mass, which are known to be quite sensitive to changes in water mass. In other words, in terms of muscle gains, you might want to keep your 
your expectations in check because what you can expect from taking creatine is probably lower than what this study suggests. But again, creatine is much better known for its widely supported performance benefits. And I definitely recommend you consider that before anything else if you're thinking about taking creatine. But if you ever did wonder about them muscle gains, well, then now you have a better idea. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a muscular thumbs up and share it with your creatine loving friends. Subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to get your protein.